This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by Squarespace. Who doesn't like dinosaurs? No one, because they're awesome? Like Yoshi, Mario's happy-go-lucky steed. And Riptor, the dino warrior with a killer instinct. I'm Wizard, and he's Boomstick, and it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Yoshi is a cheerful and friendly dinosaur whose race happens to be among Bowser's most hated enemies. Why? Because they're so goddamn happy all the time! Yoshi is considered one of the fastest characters in the Mario universe and has a higher and stronger jump than Mario. Despite his cute and cheery demeanor, Yoshi's powerful enough to put down this Goliath single-handedly. He's able to keep up with experienced fighters like Solid Snake, Link, and even previous death battle champion Samus Aran. And he either doesn't have any ears or he's really freaking patient, because he somehow put up with that whiny-ass baby Mario. <laughs> If it were me, someone would have found him in a dumpster after the first level. Also, while young Yoshis are dumb enough to run off cliffs, they learn quickly over time, eventually driving go-karts, playing sports, and surviving the greatest death trap ever created. Mario Party. Yoshi has a large arsenal of eggs to use as lightweight projectiles, and can even create a giant eggshell to use as an all-encompassing shield. What is it with creatures from the Mario universe using their babies as weapons? Is it that effective? I'm gonna have to test this out. Maybe some sort of baby launcher? Boomstick, that's a terrible idea. Anytime you'd want to reload, you'd have to wait nine months. Anyway, Yoshi's greatest asset is his stomach. Yeah, Yoshi's got a bad eating problem and devours everything in sight with his long, stretchy tongue. He can swallow almost anything, even fire. That's right, Boomstick. Yoshi has the strangest digestive system I've ever come across. Certain meals can grant him special abilities. Otherwise, after consuming a foe or item, Yoshi, uh, ejects an egg spawn from the subject. The egg may have special properties from said object or contain the victim within. Wait, that's how he makes eggs? Are there any female Yoshis? I don't think they're male or female. Yoshis may be asexual. That poor, miserable creature. Oh, Yoshi got the right stuff. Riptor was genetically engineered by Ultratech to be the perfect combination of human intelligence and animal brutality. His tools of death are his teeth, claws, and impaling tail. And he knows how to use them well, pulling off insanely bloody combos. And when he's not fighting up close, he can spit a fiery acid. Riptor is only four years old, and yet already he's a nearly unstoppable killing machine. That's one ass-kicking toddler. He has reached a point where his human emotion and reasoning conflict with his predatory instincts, often confusing him to the point of blind rage and aggression. Riptor may look, sound, and act like a velociraptor, but he's really something else entirely. He's twice as big and twice as slow, and I don't think velociraptors could shoot acid. They were awesome enough without it. With a limited amount of combat training, Riptor relies on his raptor instincts in a fight. Raptors were pack hunters, preferring to flank their victims with stealth, speed, and secrecy, though they were no pushovers by themselves. On their own, they usually just rushed their opponent and overpowered them with ultra combos. And if Jurassic Park has taught us anything, it's that raptors are clever sons of bitches. Wow, Boomstick, I didn't know you knew so much about dinosaurs. Yeah, I always wanted me a pet raptor. I was gonna call him Barney after I found out what irony was. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. First, I need to get some money to convert my kitten cannon into a baby launcher. You've got to be kidding me. From Squarespace, who doesn't necessarily endorse baby launchers? Squarespace offers users an easy, flexible solution for anyone looking to create a blog, personal portfolio, or any kind of website. And don't worry if you come across any questions or issues, Squarespace offers 24-7 support. Call him anytime, with the dumbest of questions! Boomstick called, and if they can deal with him, they can deal with anyone. Squarespace just pushed a brand new social widget for geolocation services that displays your most recent check-ins from Foursquare, Gowalla, and Facebook places on a live Google map. Many of the internet's highest traffic web pages are powered by Squarespace, not to mention many of the personal pages of Revision 3 personalities. Check out squarespace.com forward slash death battle to get a free two week trial. But right now, it's time for a death battle! <clears throat>
Yoshi couldn't compete with Riptor's tough and brutal viciousness, but his varied arsenal ultimately produced a winning move. Riptor's a freaking beast in a fist fight, but while Yoshi looks all cute and stuff, he's actually a deadly devouring machine, like my ex-wife. That Raptor mind of Riptor's might be cunning and clever, but Tooth and Claw can only accomplish so much. Yoshi's bizarre digestive system rebounded the acid spit, blinding Riptor and leaving him vulnerable. Riptor may be smart, but Yoshi can drive cars, and show me another dinosaur who can do that. Even with a Velociraptor's strong sense of hearing and smell, Riptor's confused and vengeful mind wasn't able to process the change of tactics fast enough. Even so, he was already finished. Even if that conveniently placed Cliff hadn't have been there, Riptor would have lost his whole face pretty quick to the acid. He just didn't have the stomach for this dynamite dino fight. What? I'm clever! The winner is Yoshi. Next time on Death Battle. We've received so many suggestions for death battles, we're gonna have to narrow it down a bit. From now on, you subscribers get the spotlight. Have an idea? Subscribe and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching!